may get his third round win of the year. We'll see if he can do it. Fairly even start, but look at Whitcup and look at Rick Kelly. He rounds them up unbelievably. Stephen Johnson's on fire there as well. He absolutely rocketed into position. He's up the third. Courtney on the inside here, side by side with Kelly. That was a dynamic start from Jamie Wincup and Rick Kelly, the two young chargers. And look at Wincup bolt. He is gone. So if there weren't cars in the way, Stephen Johnson would have been, I reckon, at the front of that group by the time he got down there. Kelly's gone around, Bright in behind him. And this will cause huge oh, chaos. Bright's airborne. The back of that car was right up. The Jack Daniels cars are damaged and mass carnage on what, the opening lap. What a shame. Absolute shame. This will be a safety car. A lot of damage on Kelly's car. Stephen Richards involved as well in the Jack Daniels Holden. And uh, Jason Bright. Ready, guys. They've gone off onto the go-kart track down go. there. This will trigger full, full course right, yellow. It's just been one of those weekends and it was remarkable that yesterday we just had such a clean race one. No incidents. And look at this. There's about one million dollars worth of race cars in that shot and they're torn up and torn up badly. Matthew Crawford's telling Todd Kelly leave it where it is mate and Stephen, Stephen Richards his day is done Todd Kelly's day is done and these two boys were having a very promising weekend. It's all over now though Bright was able to drive away from this incident as Stephen Richards inspects the front of a very heavily damaged Jack Daniels Commodore. And Todd Kelly, while looking at a podium, a potential podium for the weekend, Larry Perkins inspects the damage from afar. And Todd Kelly says, how in the world did this happen? Bright was right in the middle of it too. He was up. The and and he, he was complaining on the radio before the start of a misfire with this car. Zinger replay. Let's see if we can unravel this. Bright's up the inside of Ingle. That tap turns Kelly around, and watch this. Yeah, I think that uh, it just looked like Jason touched the back of Todd there, and then it triggered the massive concertina. It ran back five and six cars. And Stephen Richards had absolutely nowhere to go. Here it is again. It was actually, in, it looked like Ingle may have contacted Kelly first. It wasn't a heavy hit, but it was enough to un weight the back of that car and turn him around and in comes Stephen Richards driving behind Bright. Well, uh, Russell was on the radio talking to Barry Hay and he said I had no contact with anybody.